So let me set the stage for you guys. Summertime at the pier. You walk out and it's always super flat. There's not a whole lot of wind, but what there is is there's a lot of bait, there's a lot of snook, and there's a lot of things feeding on all that bait. So what you got is you got a bunch of people that like to come out and throw artificials and try and catch snook. They'll be throwing swim baits, they'll be throwing plugs, and then there'll be dudes fishing live bait. And down on the bottom, you can see these darker patches. There's snook. They're just hanging out. Out here, there's a bunch of sardines and thread fins. And when the sun starts to rise, we'll have bonitas start running those baits in, and that'll cause kind of a lot of commotion. It'll cause other fish to start eating. Birds. Yeah. catch this morning we got a nice snook how many you catch just one but that's a nice one yeah. you catch that on a swim bait yes sir nice yeah. you get any hits on the plug no hit. my cable broke on my spool tag okay well that didn't make any sense <laughs> <laughs> what's about to support me with a gill plate <laughs> oh, <there's> <laughs> Gill plates. You'll be fine. Look at this. I'm about to get smoked. Oh, oh my okay, god. You just gross. get frayed off? Yeah. Dude, I got that on camera. Wow. <laughs> he literally Dude. just hurt. Well, yeah, it kind of looks like semi not failure. No, but, no, you know. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, when you have the little uh -oh. curl at the end of the line. Uh oh. <laughs> Everyone go roast Michael Grello on his Instagram. Dude, I saw that fish come up. Your, your drag was super tight. That was cool. Yeah. The snook window on lures is like maybe what, 20 minutes, Michael? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. like uh, right when the sun's coming up and they'll, you'll get a couple hits and then that's it. You might as well go home if that's all you want to do. Yeah. And then you got to kind of switch to live bait for the rest of the day. So they, uh, they eat the lure good though. It's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your rail spinning backwards? Hell yeah. We got all the pork right here today. I am really close. Yeah. We just had all of the baits just get swam in by a bunch of predatory fish. Everyone kind of hooked up. I caught a jack, Tim caught a bonita, guy caught a cuda, Cliff's the professional net man. I'm getting better. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nets in anymore. Maybe, maybe one day, maybe one day you'll be professional. I think Snook keep picking your sardine up and spitting it. I looked at it and it's fine. Yeah. I guess he just got a little uh, scared. A little finicky? Yeah. Oh my god, look how oh, brown he is. Uh oh. Okay. I will hand light him. I ain't scared. Alright, pressure. pressure. Mama, yeah. yeah, you gotta keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Oh, keep set up, dude. I'm just gonna stand in the way here, just so you know. Oh! Oh, my God. It's always a matter of time before the weight gets caught on the rope and then it gets real interesting. Come on! Take it easy for me! And it can't. What is the best one? You got thread in his mouth? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. Alright. Let him go. Let him grow. He'll be a 40 pounder one day. Good job, man. Yeah.
So this is uh, pretty much the rig that I got going on. I got a um, pink line is my main line. I got a sliding swivel to a six ounce. I got some 60 pound leader to a J hook. And we're just throwing it out there and let it sit on bottom. So when a fish picks up your bait, he's allowed to run and it's not attached directly to the weight. So you don't really feel most of the tension from the weight. Bro, they're straight out, dude. I got a cigar in my mouth. This thing's about to get smoked. Got that good bait. Nah, old school pier style. I'm gonna hook this guy through the nose, throw him out. And Michael Grella coming in hot. Whoa! Oh, shot. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> Ow. I was expecting like a full send pass. Yeah, it's a full send. Nah, I can't with this like top shot. Come on, bro. You just and shot. yesterday, like every bait that I threw out was dead on impact. Either eaten by a cuda or killed by the water. <laughs> <laughs> or about to get eaten by a cuda. You know, bait. Know what that one is. Shouldn't last long. Where are you going to look at the meat on juicy ice cream? Nick. I can't give you all my secrets, man. Which way? That way or that You got 10 years of experience to catch up to me. You know, you gotta learn. This way? The sad thing is, he's almost about there. So my rod just went off. Thought it was a Benito. It was running straight out. Set the hook like a jackass. Turns out, it's a big snook because it ran straight in on me. And now it's got me underneath pretty good. So I've loosened my drag. I'm kind of just playing them. Fish with this rod. So I'm gonna throw baits out. Yeah. Yeah. I messed up, man. Sorry. Will you forgive me? Oh, now I caught Mega Deadline. Are you gonna get cut off? Probably. But. Is that just a fish or are you yeah. about Well, there's something else on there. See, see that fish move? Shake his head like that? Yeah. Oh, God. There he goes. He just came off right there. Let me stick under you, dude. Alex about to be in a world of pain. Potentially a broken rod. They're being smart today. Water's clear and there's no wind. I'm gonna try from the other side. Get destroyed. Oh my god, Dude! On the bass rod. On the bass rod. This man is all about the bass rod. Get him in the net. Oh man. Dude, you're my hero. Eat the dead cigar, man. Yeah? Good, perfect release. A little tap tap with the net. Nice, dude. How they doing? Is that on a pilchard? That was on that cigar middle. Oh. It was on my bottom rod for like 20 minutes. Yeah. I just took it off to put it on my flat line and I got it. Nice. Typically in the middle of the day at the pier, the bite kind of slows down, it's hot, the fish aren't really eating as much. So what we'll do to kind of buy the time till the afternoon bite is move into the surf close to the beach and fish the giant school of pilchards that's down there. Pilchards are medium sized bait fish and there would be plenty smaller snook up inside them feeding. 
we'll go down there and we'll fish them on flatline and sometimes you can even sight fish them. Alec, want that freshie? Yeah. Bogus. Donkeys only. Because here are donkeys only. Uh. Yeah, if I would have cut the tail, it would have been good. <laughs> Reel him up. Jack, it's too loose. Didn't break your rod. There you go. Beauty! Nice one. Oh, there goes the bait. Power flip? It's only 30. Yeah, she's a freak. Watch out. Easy! Break the rod. Yes. Cream, cream of special man. Hooked them four times. <laughs> He's like, get it out of my face. <laughs> Sick release, dude. It took me until I was editing today's video to realize that I actually didn't even catch anything on this day. And y'all, I, I think that's a good theme for the video because no matter how much experience you have, no matter how many years you have fishing in a spot, you're gonna have bad days. Even the best captains that fish 300 out of 365 days a year have days where they're not able to catch fish in the manner they want or maybe even catch fish at all. That is just part of it. And I think that's what keeps us as fishermen constantly seeking more knowledge, constantly trying to learn, do better, and get better at fishing every single day. Y'all, that is all the time I have. That is all the footage I have for you. If you could please leave a comment in the section below or leave the video a thumbs up, I truly think that's gonna help the channel grow and keep me being able to produce awesome content for you all. I'll catch you guys in that next video. See ya.